Hey Taurus, this is your general tarot reading for Taurus Sun, Moon and Ascendant or Rising Sign for the month of May. <laughs> Which means that for many of you, it's your birthday. So let's do it. Let's bring out the best china. Let's bring out the best crystal glasses and pour the champagne. And in the meantime, <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Taurus, who are born in May. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my beautiful Taurus. This is Taurus season and everybody is here to watch you, to be part of your world and to see, well, what the heck kind of magic is Taurus going to bring? And I think you're going to bring a lot of magic, a lot of very shocking and surprising magic too as we go through the month, but we'll get there. We'll explain it, a lot going on. Well, as always Taurus, let's begin at the beginning. We'll shuffle the cards and wait on all the right ones to come along. And in the meantime, we'll talk about the energy. So we left behind April and hope your birthday went well, all the April Taurus babies. Hope that went very well for you. Um, but we still felt that big effect of the full moon that happened in Libra. Uh, another sign that's also ruled by Venus and it happened for you in your sixth house now there were two Libra full moons one in March and another one in April as your first card hops out there we lay it down there and what this really meant for you Taurus is a few things first that you finally feel stronger maybe you had some health concerns health worries health was a big focus for you but as we go into the month you're definitely, definitely feeling stronger. So that's good news. Maybe there was some good health news for you, hopefully. Um, the other thing that it deals with is maybe work situations, the stress and the pressure and the having to be kind of, it's always on your mind trying to figure out some work issue. Maybe you've been working with people who were very demanding, who forced you to pick up a lot of the slack. There was a lot, there was a lot, there was a lot. And there was a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress. But again, the good news is that that is also coming to an end. Somewhere along the line, you had a genius idea how to fix some work issue. And the other thing, six pass is very often to do with people who are a little bit sneaky behind closed doors, people whose behavior isn't all that great bickering fighting things like that and again the good news Taurus is that it seems that that is also something that's coming to an end now here's a Virgo card we have two cards here two major arcanas Cancer and Virgo hmm we lay them down and wait on the rest of them but the energy of people over criticizing you too when you're just trying to do your best when you're trying to do a good thing when you're trying to be of service when you're trying to be kind and as we said last month graceful when you're trying to share when you're trying to show when you're trying to help and be sensitive you might have found that not a lot of people out there were very ready to appreciate some of that beautiful service that you gave them, service that you provided them, where you stepped in with a beautiful, gentle Taurus hand and maybe worked, worked, worked with a lot of effort into, you know, maybe cleaning something up, spring cleaning too. <laughs> but in general, I feel the energy Taurus is more the vibe of suddenly realizing how graceless other people are and suddenly realizing how you are not affected by it anymore. You know what I said, the unsympathetic people, the uncaring people, the insensitive people, the ones who don't understand the real beauty of things kind of people. You know, the people who come at you bringing their vices, crisis, and their not so nices, you know, the eye rollers and assholers. But you know, this is Taurus time. I mean, you could look at your watch and say, Tick tock, tick tock, 24 hours around the clock, you bring me your toxic shit, but boom, check the clock now because it's Taurus time. And this is my time to shine and your time is up. So there is definitely something where you are telling somebody your time is up and I move away from the beautiful hard work and effort that I've been putting into something that may not have been appreciated by 
some people. But as I said, this is Taurus season. This is your time to shine, you know, your birthday season. Because we have, as we go into the month, the sun in Taurus. May 4th, the new moon in Taurus. <laughs> May 6th, Mercury in Taurus. And May 15th, Venus, your ruler, comes home to Taurus. And Taurus always loves to come home and Venus is no different. She is home and she is here and she is taking charge. She is head of the house because this is where you get a huge level of control in your life. This is where you stand out, where you're seen, where you're driving it, where it's your ideas that change everything. It's your opinions that change everything. It's your love that changes everything, your grace that changes everything. And it will change. It will change your relationship too, because around the time of the full moon on May 18th, full moon in Scorpio in your seventh house of partnerships and relationships, there's going to be a big change, a big, big change, because Venus, your ruler, is uh, conjuncting Uranus, the rebel, the shaker, the I'm bored of how we always do this shit, and comes in like a flash of lightning. See all the flashes of lightning you're getting since Uranus moved into your sign, but now it's time to zap up the relationships. Even if you're single, I mean all relationships where you have a close one-on-one -on -one with somebody, partnerships, friendships, work, kind of partnerships, anywhere where it's you and another person or you and other people. You know, if you have to do something in front of the public or you have to stand up and share your ideas, do something different, other people will be watching you and they will be shocked and surprised by you. It could mean a time where you suddenly try to spruce up these relationships for those in a partnership. You might suddenly decide around the full moon, May 18th, that it's time to up this. It's time to change this. It's time to take a radical new shift here. We've got to get moving. We've got to get shaking. When it comes to love making, we've got to try something different. When it comes to expressions of love, we've got to totally have a new conversation. When it comes to your image, Taurus, this is like a big moment where you say, I am not hiding anymore. I'm going to come out and I am going to show off the true beauty of me. Maybe it might mean you change your style, change your look, change your hair, change something, but you're feeling this urgency this month to radically change everything up and you're directing it. You're not dressing to please anybody else. You're dressing to please yourself. You're not creating anything to please anybody else. This is to please yourself. You've had radical new ideas, a radical new shift in your whole perception. And you're saying, no, it's time to start living this shit now. It's If I believe in something, I, ca I can't just talk the talk. I have to walk the walk. And so big, big, big changes are happening. Now, Taurus, you might suddenly around the full moon or at any period throughout the month, suddenly see something that shocks you. Maybe you are in your car, you're driving along and you suddenly see your dream home and you say, oh my God, I just found where I want to live or you, you just accidentally find your dream job or accidentally for the singles find a dream relationship. It is possible. And I don't, I don't say this shit lightly because it's very easy to kind of say, oh, you're going to meet a soulmate, you're going to, that's bullshit, 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 bullshit. But this time it's different because May 18th, with Venus conjunct Uranus, this is where somebody could just, it's like the gods come down and say, were you looking for this? Bam, there it is. Isn't that what you want? <laughs> and you can't answer because, <laughs> because jaw drop. But you will answer. And the one thing that you will be saying a lot of this month, Taurus, is yes. Yes. Because you've already come out of March and April saying, no, 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 stay away, no, no. This is the month of yes. Can I do this? Yes. Can I shake my life up and turn many, many things around in my life? Yes. Can I improve my health? Yes. Can I get into a new relationship? Yes. 
can I maybe change some huge aspect of my life just like that? Yes. The answer is yes, you can. So there's a lot of yes, 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 yes this month. And I like that you're being big, bold, brave and getting out there and showing everything off. Maybe literally, I, and I'm, <laughs> I mean, I mean that Uranus loves the body. It loves the human physical form and Venus loves beauty around the full month, full moon, sorry. You could get more daring with what you wear or what you don't wear yeah so we'll see we'll see I, I i can't say all of you will do that some of you are saying oh my god what does that mean i have to hit the treadmill now if i have to look good in my hot sweet taurus bod <laughs> well maybe maybe not but for some of you there could be that real moment where you say i've got to just love and embrace my beautiful body more and just show it off more so again yes you are beautiful. Yes, you can show yourself off. And yes to everything in between. <laughs> so that's really beautiful, beautiful energy. Um, but certainly partnerships around the full moon, that is when the whole dynamic should change and you're driving it. And it's all very, very, very positive. Very positive. And for some of you, you might get that, you might want to get, sorry, that few coin together to go on a vacation but a vacation that you want it's kind of like I need to go somewhere where I'm free I need to go somewhere where I'm allowed where I can just explore where I can clean my mind be inspired by other things in cultures ideologies just be inspired take it all in drink it down eat it like a beautiful gourmet meal I want that freshness and expansion in my life in my soul in my body in myself and I will put my coins together and find that dream place to go yeah it could mean that the dream place could be a house of education saving a few coins to, I don't know, just it's this energy of I must know more, I must rise and I must keep this kind of yes motivation feeling going. So it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful, Taurus, beautiful. And other people are going to be very impressed by you this month. With the full moon in the seventh house, you might find a lot of people looking at you and admiring you, admiring, <coughs> excuse me, what you're creating, admiring how you live your life, admiring how you've accomplished something. It's very, very, very possible, or pretty more than possible, that people are going to be, you know, encouraging you to step out more, encouraging you to do more of that sweet, good thing that you do. As one card falls on the floor, let's not encourage any more of that. Let me get it. Hold on. <coughs> this, the king of earth. I like that that came out in Taurus season where all earth magic is coming out. The master, the one who's figured it out, the one who sits on his throne, surrounded by beautiful grapes, the wine, the gold, his eyes are closed, he's listening to his good music, he's saying, I've got it all gone. <laughs> I've got it all, the sky is even gold. Look at me and my castle in the background. I've got it all. And you do, this month, you've got it all. This is yes, this is go for it, this is full steam ahead, this is progress. So let's get a few more cards. Now, May 21st, Sun and Mercury move into Gemini, your second house of money and self-esteem. Now, when it comes to money, the things, the work is going to pay off this month. You might see money just coming out of nowhere or opportunities to make money. Your mind is definitely on saving, keeping, encouraging, multiplying, what you own, what you have, and your money. So that is really, it's a great place for you to be, really, Taurus. But it's also a good boost of self-confidence, a good boost of self-esteem. No wonder you're feeling great this month and other people are applauding you, admiring you, and saying, I want more, I want more, I want more. 
and you're saying yes okay <laughs> so it just keeps building 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 it's a very unusual month Taurus not just because it's your birthday month but because all oh, the new moon Mercury Venus in the first house the conjunctions with Uranus and Venus the full moon and Scorpio it's just very it's big let's just say it that way now May 16th I almost forgot to say Mars the one who is the enthusiastic part of ourselves the lusty part of ourselves the one who wants to go in and experience something is going into cancer a sign that you get on quite well with and that is in your third third house where your north node of destiny is so it seems to be part of your destiny now to start communicating start getting out there start saying yes experience new things get new ideas particularly taurus for your birthday get new technology your new phone your new ipad your new computer your new gadget your new kitchen gadget, whatever that may be, a new vehicle, a new car, a new bike. It's You've got to get moving. Anything that helps you along, that makes something easier and technologically relevant and up to date, that's really what could be good for you. But taking trips, definitely seeing more. It's almost the feeling, really, Taurus, of you emerging and now starting, which I adore now starting to have your influence felt by others communicating your style communicating what you know communicating your spirituality your beauty and here we go with that word again grace start sharing that on any public platform social media public speaking vlogging blogging anything just start having your opinions heard and start getting your ideas out there and like we said last month you you might test them prove them to to see if they're worth keeping but your word is coming out your voice is finally being heard now i'm glad that your voice is being heard because you're probably sick of hearing my voice we're waiting on three cards so let me just choose them <laughs> okay hello venus in taurus card the Empress. It's you. It's you. Venus moves into Taurus on May 15th. Yeah, I like this. This is definitely, this is definitely your real birthday card. Yeah, Venus. That's her calling card. She said, I am. I'm just announcing that I will be arriving on May 15th. Please have everything prepared. My soft furnishings, my cushions, because I do expect to sit like royalty when I do arrive. And so she does. Sit like royalty. Make your home look good too this month. Spring cleaning, which I think you've been doing already last month. But getting everything ship shape and beautiful. And let's get one more card, Taurus. I love it. Okay, so let's go over to your birthday cards. The big, ta-da, Taurus season overview. So here we have, we open up with the energy of Cancer and Virgo. Maybe Cancer and Virgo are very influential for you as right from the start of the month. Maybe they're your partner. Maybe they're a new lover. We don't know. We don't know. We have to keep digging to find this stuff out. But either way, they seem to be a catalyst in your life right now. One way or another, positively or negatively. But in the month where you're saying, yes, I wonder if they are triggering something very positive in you. But... It, Here's the card really, it's not just a Cancerian card, but it's about having an emotional victory. When you get, it's like getting yourself really together. You know that nice feeling, Taurus, when you're just feeling, I've got all my shit together. And because you're feeling very together, this is where you strike for victory. Because... It, when we are together, when we do feel whole, complete, sorry, there's a hair in my mouth. <laughs> when we do feel whole and complete and feel like we're on it, that's when we're at we're, we're our most potentially successful. And you are, this month, shooting ahead, shooting across the sky like the birthday star that you are. There is a victory here, a victory. But this is Virgo card again. It's all to do with close examination. 
So I wonder, are we opening the month with you closely examining your feelings about something? Being a bit cautious about what you say to certain people, how you approach certain people, maybe how you approach a Cancerian. But there's a sense of, I must observe this, I must watch this, I must watch my behaviour in some cases. Watch my reaction to other people. So that's as we enter into the month. There's a sense of cautiousness, prudence, um, effort going in to how do I make more of this feeling of being good? How do I make more of this feeling of I've got my shit together and I'm ready to make a success of something? You're, there's hard work going on for you, Taurus. Hard work on something, maybe a project or maybe something that you're very emotionally invested in and you're giving it your all. And I think that will bring a success. It could be a relationship. You're giving it all and really closely examining your relationship this month with the full moon in the seventh house. And under this close inspection, you say, you know what? In order to make this really work, we've got to, boom, change so much up here. Change where we live. Change the country we live in. Change everything. Change how we work. To change it all. Let's just change and start again. And that seems to be very positive for you to do because here's the energy of a success coming to you when you step out of your comfort zone and run with your ideas. Run with this big idea because the universe definitely has your back. You in your tower, like the prince or like Rapunzel, suddenly realizing that there's a bigger world out there. There's more places to go, more places to sit, see. And you're saying yes to every opportunity to get out there and grab as much as you can of this new panorama that you see. I want more. I want to travel. I want to see more. I'm hungry for more. And you are taking these big, brave steps definitely this month. I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are really initiating a big house change in some way or a, a move to another country. Maybe some of the things you need to do to get organized is to learn maybe a language to move to a foreign country or vice versa. Let me just flip this over. Maybe some of you are in a foreign country and saying it's time to go home or it's time to go somewhere else. There is a big move on here and you are just a force to be reckoned with because your decision is the last word on this situation, whatever it may be. But taking what you have, what you're creating, who you are, it's very personal to you. It's a journey of you and expanding you that you're now embarking upon. I know that sounds very hallmark card, but that's what it is with all the energy in Taurus in the first house and with the south node in the ninth house with Saturn and Pluto there. It's kind of letting go of what you once knew and what you once understood to be the meaning of your world personally and stepping out and being brave and bold and saying, Let's try a bunch of new stuff out. So it's a personal journey to expand, which is beautiful. Now here's you again, holding up this beautiful beauty, the spirit of yourself, the, the best parts of yourself, and beginning again to show off the best parts of yourself, your creativity, your love, your whole approach to love. You're great in relationships, Taurus. You're really good, any type of relationship. But your spirituality, it's like he's holding it up and he's saying, look at me. I am, now this is going to sound weird because this is what I heard. I am both body and soul. I am real. I am not just living in my fantasy or my imagination. I have what it takes. I will show what I have. And I will win. I will win. And in doing that, Taurus, what it seems to do is create a real purge. You see Gabriel blowing the horn saying, it's time. It's time. You can almost say he's like Uranus coming in and saying, it's time for you personally, Taurus, to clean out your closet, clean out the skeletons in there, clean it all out and remember your earth magic. 
something to do with your body, healing, working with your body, maybe working with body work in some way, shape or form, health, fitness. But it's like, let's get this moving. Let's clear out the cobwebs. Let's forget everything that's already happened and start brand new again with a huge sense of power. You've got the emperor beside the king of earth. You're dominating something this month. Definitely, definitely dominating something. Sorry, Taurus, I got cut out there. But you're dominating something this month. Maybe in your career, maybe in your education, maybe in just you standing up for yourself, speaking up for yourself, controlling certain aspects of your life better having a better handle on your relationship because it's like I am leading this look at the, I mean look at them Mars Mars going into cancer the part of the home family and communicating with more authority maybe to brothers sisters cousins relatives family members in general I, I, I've got this I'm controlling this I am I am the head of the house I am I am the one who knows how to keep all this shit together. In some cases, I just got this image, Taurus, that you're like the, the key piece, the linchpin between you and other family members, where you have somehow asserted yourself, it seems, this month as being the, the most, I don't know, the, the most responsible one in the family, or the, the most admired and respected one, certainly, in the family. The one that everybody is watching, everybody is thinking of, everybody turns to. Because you have the ability to direct and give good, I don't know, it's give good direction. I'm feeling a few things there when it comes to your family. You're just finding yourself in a very important position this month somehow within your home life, family life. But I think, you remember a few moments ago I touched upon this. I think something comes together family-wise or with your home. This could be a month where you, like I said, suddenly find your dream lifestyle or the dream place that you want to live or your dream decor. You're saying, this is my truth. This is how I live. These walls, this painting, these sofas, they're just bullshit. I bought them from some random flat pack store, no names mentioned, but I want to change that up and I want to get something more unique, more beautiful, maybe a bit retro or vintage. I want this to look like me because my home and my family are my strong place, okay? Getting great strength from family members, but it's you who's the leader. It's you who all your family are coming to you Maybe they're coming to visit you or you're going to visit them, I don't know. But here we go, Venus in Taurus, sitting beside a Sagittarius card. Now for the singles, some of you could be very attracted to a Sagittarius sun, moon or ascendant. They could have exactly what you need. And Sagittarius are very ninth house, which is where Saturn and Pluto are and South Node. They could be a catalyst, one way or another, positively or negatively to push you on to being more like you should be. Being like Venus in Taurus here, where she is wealth, she is abundance, she has manifested everything she wants in her life. She has all the finest things that can be found. She's extravagant with expensive taste. She is the queen of luxury. So a Sagittarius could be, I don't know, encouraging you to be more of that. Or they could be the one that gives you the kick up the Taurus ass to go and be that. One way or another, you might hear a home truth from somebody. And that home truth may not even be a Sagittarius, but that home truth that hits you towards the end of the month says, I am now officially getting out of my comfort zone and changing my life dramatically. Dramatically. So I love it because it's the change of everything, the dramatic, I see it totally differently now, that heals, that cleans, that gets the oil on the wheels and gets it turning. 
Now, towards the end of the month, I wonder if some of you are becoming very independent with your work. Maybe some of you are thinking of uh, maybe starting your own business. Not very unusual for a Taurus to have your own business or your home business, even if it's a side business. That is not unusual for you. But I see hard work and willing hard work, determined to stand up and kind of hold your ground, stand up and say, this is what I do, this is my work, this is what I offer to the world, this is what I share, this is my wisdom, very much so, this is my wisdom, and this is how I get my independence. A great many of you maybe have something that you're very knowledgeable about, maybe a skill or a talent that you're very, you're very knowledgeable about and you want to brush that up a bit and you're willing to put the hard work into it because you feel this is something that you can turn a coin with. And there is success. Independence. Independence. And that's what Taurus season, I think, is bringing you. The magic of, I will work at this and I will make it happen. I am bringing my earth magic to this. And in the end, I will have more money, more success. But independence, I will be proud of myself. That's very key. I will be proud because I can stand up and say, you can't challenge this. You can't test this because I've worked for this. I love it. I really love it. Love it, Taurus. Amazing energy for your birthday. And I'm not really just saying it like some YouTuber. It's amazing energy for your birthday. It actually really is. It really is amazing. And I'm very happy that you're going to be both feeling the Taurus magic and sharing, finally sharing that Taurus magic because everybody needs that Taurus magic. And I'm going to leave it at that, my beauty. Now you know that this is just the general magic landscape of Taurus season, but to get into the real details, the nitty gritty, to hold that lamp up and see what the heck is going on with your love life, with the singles too, with your money and your career, with your family, your home, friends, issues, anything we haven't discussed here, we're going to go right into it in the Vimeo readings, the deep read, and that is all linked down there below. Come along again, Taurus, for those of you who come to the deep read, and if you haven't seen it before, you're cordially invited. All linked down there below, you know what to do now. So. Taurus, happy birthday, my beautiful, and keep sprinkling all of that gorgeous Taurus magic throughout this month because this is a month where dreams can be made a reality. So make your dreams a reality. And I'm going to leave you, as always, with all my love and a really big, big birthday kiss from me to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Until next month, my beautiful. Bye.